Today we're going to be looking at doing the homing cycle. I have actually upgraded the way that the limit switches are mounted on and I just 3D printed those components. What I'm going to show you right now on the computer is that using the universal G-code sender, all I have to do is go here on home once the homing switches are set and it's going to go rapid traverse to the top, hit the switch, back off and then slowly come on and touch it. The same thing is going to happen simultaneously for the x-axis and the y-axis and then it's going to come in closer again and that's all done by simply setting in your switches. The thing that comes up often is that you go to the setup wizard and let's see here's the setup wizard next next this is where you do your motor wiring step calibrations and this is up to you to go and do the measurements it already comes with set the limit switches are what are important here and where you could go is you can go for homing and this is where you put your direction so in my case I wanted my limit switch for the Y direction to be here such that the home location is here I'm always working in the positive positive on the X direction and positive in the Y direction so this is a really comfortable location versus putting the tool change or anything up back there in order to do that I have to change the location here in my homing location such that it goes to the right location otherwise it's going to try to go back and it's going to crash the machine and you don't want to do that so this is where you change that in setup wizard and the next thing I'm going to eventually do is put the soft limits and what are soft limits soft limits are the spaces within the machine that after it tries to pass that envelope area the machine goes, no, 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 you're in danger of hitting something. So the soft limit is going to be somewhere around here for the y-axis. And before it hits that heart limit on the x-axis and before the tool or the linear guide rails exit out at the bottom, depending on what end mill I have there. That is it for giving you a quick synopsis of homing with the limit switches. If you like the limit switches mounting that I'm showing here, there is another video that shows how they are mounted. And also that you can download the STL file so you can 3D print some yourself. Or these are designed to be manufactured on the mill as well. So you can use your existing mail to make your own little mounts for your switches.